Welcome to the channel. Because recently, we have some so-called controversy around the introduction of the new pet feature. And I have uploaded a video on my channel with a message about additional sockets for legendary gems. However, it turns out that most likely developers didn't meant to do that. This whole situation became so complicated that I decided to make another video explaining it, because in my opinion, the community deserves sort of clarification. So it all started when a short video was published announcing the upcoming changes. And here's what we could learn from the Echoes video. Diablo Immortal Splintered Souls just was announced today. Hey there, Diablo Immortal fans. I'm Ron Ferguson, General Manager of All Things Diablo. And I'm Scott Burgess, Lead Designer on Diablo Immortal. Hi. I won't go through the whole video. Obviously visit the Echo channel if you want to watch, but here let's get to the key moments. New Battle Companions. What's a Battle Companion? Battle, Collect, Evolve. These are some type of pets, and if we look back here, notice how they evolve. They start out looking like this. They're like little baby things. And then they evolve or they grow into something bigger, as you can see. So, these are some type of, they're calling them familiars. They didn't actually say pets, but what has been speculated is that these are gonna be pets that walk around with you that you can slot gems inside of, which will then enhance your combat rating, which will then allow you to progress deeper and deeper into the game because people were finding it difficult to progress their combat rating. If you remember, once you get above Paragon 800, you can unlock stances. What stances do? Well, they allow you to put an extra secondary and an extra primary weapon. And when you put the extra secondary weapon and extra primary weapon, you could put in extra gems because you have two more weapon slots to put gems inside of. Now we have pets coming or companions, we'll call them. And I'm assuming there's gonna be some type of a gem slot inside of your companions as well, which will in then again, in turn, increase your combat rating. It'll also increase your residence which means it's gonna be easier for you guys to get wings. If you're sitting at 900 resonance and then you get an additional gem slot, you're getting closer to being able to wear wings, which is a positive thing for those of you that are just right there on the brink. Let's see what else this has for us. And what I assumed here is that Echo has some inside information about additional gem sockets. That's why I decided to contact with Echo and tell him all my concerns about this potential idea. Because basically I didn't agree that it gonna be cool way to get better wings if overall it increases discrepancy between players. There was no drama in it, just a normal conversation. I expected that if the Echo is one of the main partners of Immortal, then maybe he could leave them some informations about at least part of community concerns. Because they also want to hear our feedback. Then Echo uploaded another video with such a message. Yesterday we had the announcement of the new pets coming to Diablo Immortal Plus, another zone, new stages, and other things. I actually want to let you know that this is bringing up some controversy between the big spenders, also known as the whales, and the free-to-play or low spenders inside of the game. I plan on putting out an in-depth video talking about this. How the whales are feeling, how free-to-play players are feeling, do they like pets coming to the game, does this cause more separation between the two groups, and why? I'm going to either put that out later today or tomorrow morning, I'm not quite yet sure, but I really want my voice and my opinion on this to be heard, so I will put out that video soon. Make sure you look out for it. I think it's gonna be a good one. So welcome the Demon Pet System to accompany players on their adventures. Now everyone's talking about, and it's not said here, but about these, these pets having gem slots in them, how it's going to raise resonance inside of the game and further uh, cause that gap between whales and free to play. That's the topic that I'm gonna be talking about in that coming video. At this point, I was no longer in contact with Echo. He did not 
deny that the introduction of additional sockets will also take place. Just announced third video about this. Just yesterday, the biggest update ever has been announced for Diablo Immortal. I don't know yet if it's the biggest update ever, but it's said to be by Blizzard. We have a new zone, new enemies and bosses, new battle pass and other new skin, and of course, pets coming to the game, which have an evolving feature. That's what this video is all about. The pets specifically because it's bringing up controversy in the world of whales versus immortals. You have two separate groups of players that have two different ways of playing the game. You have the whales who are going to buy anything inside of the game that they can, and they're going to then try to upgrade their account as high as they can. And these familiars that we're looking at here, they are where the issue lies. Because what's essentially going to happen is there's going to be a larger discrepancy between free to play or low spenders and whales. And at this point, it is worth noting that pets do not cause any controversy, just potential additional sockets. Why are people upset about pets? Because we don't know officially yet, but apparently pets are going to be able to hold a gem slot or two or three, we, we don't yet know. So essentially, instead of being able to wear eight legendary gems on your character itself, because if you're past Paragon 800, you unlock stances and you could hold two more legendary gems. Well, now you're gonna be able to hold nine or 10. Or I don't know how many of the pets will hold. That means that resonance for all players will be able to be increased. This is good for players that want to finally unlock wings or are just finally trying to make themselves to 2000 wings so their wings can get a little bit better. But what happens here is when you have another gem slot, that's a five-star gem that can be maxed out, the slot can be awakened, you can then put three more five-star gems inside of there, maxed out, and two maxed out two-star gems. That's gonna be more resonance for whales, or people that spend a lot of money inside of the game, and also more resonance for free-to-play players, assuming they put one or two-star gems in there, but it's going to make the discrepancy between free-to-play and whale much larger. Now, actually, all of this, and I know stuff about Diablo Moral beforehand. I'm part of their partner program. They tell me stuff. We have meetings. It's really, it's really nice. But I had no idea about this. This was not something that was shared with me. So I was quite surprised when I heard that pets were coming to the game and that they can evolve. Battle, collect, evolve. That shows me that it's a new mechanism, like a new whole grind that's being offered here. Now, I hope it's not like when you get them, they have one gem slot. If you grind them up, they get another gem slot, and then you can continuously up upgrade their power, their evolution, and add gem slots to them. I'm not sure if it's just me, but if Echo makes a third video about new pets and additional sockets, also giving a lot of examples how it could be instead of just Dene. He has any internal informations, then we can assume something most likely is going to happen. So is the discrepancy bigger between whales and free to play? There will be a larger resonance gap in between players. Yes, there will. Will that affect battlegrounds? Probably. But in my opinion, a free to play player is not going to be able to compete against someone that's spending tens of thousands of dollars on their account for the gems. Not only legendary gems, by the way, there's also the regular, you know, secondary gems as well play a big part in all this. I don't think this changes anything. The resonance, if it's here right now, the difference between free to play and whales, there's a big discrepancy there. This is just gonna extend it a little more. Even if they double the resonance and there are eight slots inside of these pets, you're here, you can't win in a battle. So why not be out here? You're not gonna win in a battle either way. So even after I explain that, it's obviously not about free to play which is also not entirely true, because it means that you actually can't get even closer to whales over time. But this applies mostly to average players, who have spent a certain amount of money, and the game in this way forces them to spend more even if they would like to stay at the level they are at this moment. And I think we underestimate the number of players that play Diablo Immortal that are absolute casuals. I mean, I have people coming through my Discord server still that know nothing about the game. Like we forget how many new players are joining this game every day. There's tons of them. And back to that point of the free to play players are gonna quit. I don't know that Blizzard would care that much because the free-to-play players, yes, they're keeping the game active, populated, but they're not helping Blizzard pay for anything for maintaining the game. So now if we talk Shadow War versus Immortals and all that stuff, 
the more people, essentially, the more residents you have, the more people you have with a lot of residents in your in your clan, the more powerful your clan's going to be. And this is just going to be a little bit more of a discrepancy there as well. Which is basically the content that keeps the most players playing the game, their local clans and community, and general people they met in game. Unfortunately, Echo limited himself only to expressing his opinion that players still don't know what to expect with new pet feature. Fortunately, Apollyon also did video with his statement. Game. So let's talk about the pets and the gyms with the pets. Some of you guys are going to be disappointed. The answer is no. You won't able to slot your gems into the pets. It's, it's a completely new feature, companion companionship. The pets is a completely new feature and so they won't have the ability to socket the gems. And so now that is out of the way, if you are somewhat a content creator and learning this from me, at least give a credit because I will see other content creator talking about this and no one will like give any credit. So of course the link to the video is in the description. But now in my opinion, I would expect some argument from Echo or simply the sources of information about additional sockets, especially after we received a clear statement from Apollyon that such a thing will not happen. I hope this video puts some might on this case and that soon we will be able to enjoy a new huge update. As always, thanks for watching.